it has finally stopped raining on this wonderful Sunday. So this video is going to be late, but it's going to be cool hopefully. So wherever I get out, whatever, may, might even be next week at this rate. Um, but I have re recently received my Volantec button. a little bass i obviously i went for the center cab as well as you can see so i'm getting rid of the horn I just changed it with that um i did a little bit extra camera how much more extra i paid but obviously the two red buttons are for the horn and you got the obviously the cruise control buttons there the plus the minus the return the, uh, and the off but yeah Hopefully that's going to be a nice little addition to the steering wheel. Add that bit more red, and I just need to sort that bit somewhere with a little brush of some form. But just to get rid of the yellow, you know. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys will be excited for this. Um, all I need is my uh, Allen key, number three. I'm just using it on the end of a screwdriver just to get all them off. Um, and I've bought myself a T50 Torx bit because I didn't have one last time. And I had to go and borrow my friends to tighten it up. So I hope you guys are thinking the same, that it's going to look pretty cool. Um, I said it's going to get rid of that horn. I had a couple of people messing with me just saying they weren't very good. Um, I also need to sort out the steering angle sensor. No lights came up on the dash, um, but at the back of the hub here, hence why I've got the T50 bit again, um, I need to take that off and zip tie uh, almost kind of parallel pieces there, two on each side, and that's going to help the steering wheel turn because it's not putting any lights on, but when I turn, um, I can hear a slight click every now and then i think that's the wires getting dragged around so probably best to sort it out i haven't driven it in ages so probably a, a kind of a good thing hopefully this horn comes back out all right and then we'll get the volvotec panel on the back but let's have a test it shall i i'm well excited about this we'll just sit there for now so i can show you and myself hey let's <laughs> work Actually, you can put that plate on the front and then it'll come forward. <gasps> Let's do that now, quick. So yeah, if you obviously if you have an aftermarket steering wheel and you're looking for some buttons, they do all kind of buttons. If you're like fully, fully tracking a car, um, you can get everything. You can get indicators. You can go full blown with about, I think it's about eight or ten buttons on it. So um, it's pretty mad like that. I think it looks pretty cool, but. even better like that <laughs> so I thought it was going to sit back from what he said to me on messages uh, I might not be able to line it up very well for you guys but <laughs> that's quality now I just need to work out which wire is for which so I don't know if this is going to be a little trial and error it doesn't say anything on any of the wires two wires have a have a connector like that rather than rather than anything else so we will have to see and it's pretty much flush so we've got that bang on i'm well happy with that right so that's there and let's sort this hub out um i got this t50 bit off ebay for like two pound fifty so if you are requiring one just go on there and it comes with a little socket as well so it's already in there it's already ready to go also went to halfords today on the way back from um from radstock went to the halfords in in Froome, right to try and get the paint for the cage so the anthracite paint the similar well the same paint as what i did my wheels in because it's good for metal paint and some etch primer did they have either did they f they had nothing literally nothing so that was well successful right but i'm gonna go get some zip ties in a minute oh, i can't get to get back off now i forgot to film it is in here i put zip ties around some lovely gentleman on Instagram, if I find him I'll plug it, um, show me this technique. Can you put a little zip tie on there and it will slot into that point there, which is where obviously the normal, the steering angle sensor is two little lines that pretty much go, one goes that way, one goes that way and it slots in there and it sort of, yeah, just tells the car which way you... Yeah. Oh. No, I won't be able to get back in there. But yeah, so hopefully that should be sorted. I'm not going to put too much pressure now on the wires. Because I think before I was just dragging the wires around because the, the slot they have to come through is pretty tight um, on this wheel and it makes it a bit difficult. I'm going to find that nut 
wherever I put it, tighten it back up, and then I'm going to have a look at this beautiful little panel that's going to go on front. I hope you guys are excited about where this car is going currently. Um, obviously, with my YouTube thing, I feel like no, I feel like I'm not as excited or as as sort of happy on the video. So I'm trying to sort of g myself up a little bit beforehand because um, I feel like when I watch myself and edit myself, it's a little bit boring. So I'm trying to make it. Um, I'm trying to edit it down as close to move more. Normally as close to 10 minutes as I can because I do about 40 minutes of footage and then I'm trying to edit it down the whole time to keep it interesting, but um, yeah, I'm trying my best. No, I don't have a torque wrench, alright, it's just going to be kind of tight. Alright, we're not going to do it too tight, but it's going to be the same as what I did it the other day, so it should be fine. <laughs> and we're going to get this absolute beauty out. The whole reason why there's two different ones, these two are slots. Or obviously a pin is going to go inside and these two are going to go inside uh, a clip so I am guessing this is the horn I think those ones are the ones that run around from the back the ones that pin in two red ones oh, oh god I dropped them and then these two here the ones that slot in whether it's the horn or the cruise control I, I would assume it was the cruise control because it's a bigger plug but that's just me guessing and inside there you got those two there not sure if there's a way around they should go but as we always do on my channel i'm just going to guess i'm going to turn the car on or just turn the ignition on and we're going to hope that i've done it right or i might just do it now uh, before putting the wheel back on and then i can see if i've done it right without having to faff with the wheel many times over and over again so we're going to do that quickly now um, i'm just going to insert those uh those beauties um but yeah it's pretty much plug and play i was told Oh, she slipped right in there then. It worked! <laughs> right. Apologies, neighbours. I know it's 20 past six on a Sunday night. Cool. Right. Don't move it. Tape it. Balance it on one's knee. Well, that was a good success. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I had to test it. Ready? <laughs> ah. So yeah, you just got to slot those two in just to the right hand side of the plug where the, where the bigger part of the plug is and it seemed to slip back there nicely. So I don't really know how you're supposed to secure these correctly, but I've got some electrical tape. That is what we're going for. That was, that was a great successful start but it is plug and play so I don't think there's much that can go wrong really <laughs> not that my neighbours hate me enough as it is already no I'm joking they love me of course they don't right and then these two bad boys are going to just plug into that one hopefully is there a way round I don't think I can test cruise control though while I'm stationary or oh, I might be able to do it via the limiter Perfect, right. Can I get the limit around? That's traction control. Right, plus. Damn it! Is that because it just done? Do I have to be driving for that to work? Forget it the wrong way around, I've got to take it all off again. Oh well. So at least you know the horn works. Unfortunately with the cruise control, I'm going to have to test it. Uh, while I'm out and driving. They seem pretty secure, so I'm going to leave them as they are. So part one is done. So it's going to be like that, and then we're going to have to pick up that piece, pop them in the centre, and then we're going to get the wheel over the top. Damn! <laughs> that is quality. I highly recommend that, guys. That is so easy to install. Nice little plug and play. I was a little bit worried at first, because I'm me and electrics are like a no-go, but... Uh, yeah. Volantech have made that so so easy. Um, just a little bit of a little bit of tape. <laughs> oh, that is a massive improvement. That looks oh, that looks cool. I nearly swore then. Oh, better not swear for the channel. Do you want to see it? Look how cool that looks. Oh no, we only delay. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> no, I'm blocking it. Oh. Now I can get angry at people again. There's been a couple of times recently where people chop me up on a random. I just want to give a little boop, and I'm like, no. But now, quality. Anything that kills it at the moment is that little bit of. Don't worry about that. Strong around like that. <laughs> cool. Hope you guys like that. I absolutely love it. Um, check those guys out. Like I said at the start of the video, I've got a horn on each side now. Plus, plus and minus for the cruise and the return and the off for the cruise as well. So all the buttons are there. Like I said, they do panels of just two for the cruise control. If you've got the middle horn, which is what I was going to go for originally. Oh, for God's sake. And then <laughs> what I was going to go for originally. Um, but then I saw this and thought, wow, that looks quality. Um, and I'm so happy I did. It's almost the same color as well, which helps my OCD. It's probably a little bit darker, but cool. Happy with that. So now with how dark it is, I probably look super evil with that LED in front of me, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always. Make sure to give it a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're new. Um, obviously, if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike as well. And I will catch you guys next week. Hopefully you enjoyed this little mod. I didn't really have a lot of time this week for any big videos. Um, didn't manage to get the paint even for the cage, so that might have pushed that back a little bit more. But need to get the cage in, need to get the, obviously the car drilled, um, but I'm looking forward to that one uh, next week or two weeks. <laughs> Cheers.